Hi guys, so I thought I'd do a bit of a more casual video for this week. Um, I'm currently making some necklaces, which I'll show you in a minute, but I thought I'd just go through some updates, let you know what I'm working on and what's coming up, hopefully, in the near future. Um, first up, I don't know if you can see over my shoulder here. This is a design I'm working on, it's a t-shirt design. Um, it's the Evil Queen, and it's My Little Pony. I've been meaning to do that design for, I think, maybe two years. <laughs> Um, it might be finished by the time this video goes up, but it might not, and if it isn't, it will be up soon. So, keep an eye out for it. Um, the next thing I'm working on is over on this table. I have got some canvas frames here. And this box here is full of canvas. Um, not these ones <laughs> on the top, but this one here that I am printing onto. So. This one is just a prototype because there is some white specks there. So this is just a test run. Uh, and I haven't stretched it onto the frames yet obviously, but um, I'm hoping to do quite a few of those in preparation for the Comic Con in um, October in London. So I've also got lots of canvases over in the back here. I've got some really small ones, some little square ones. I've got some round ones under here and I've got some picture frames. So I'm going to be doing lots and lots of like um, so many plans for those um, but also this bin and these comic books are going to be a little project that I've been meaning to work on for a long time um, yeah so I'm not going to tell you any more about that I shall leave you thinking uh, let's see what else have I got <sighs> so many things okay so today what I've been working on is some necklace pieces and here is one of them it's a 20 sided dice, um, so I figured I would make a load of them to sell at uh, the Comic Cons that I'm at this year. The next one is the Guildford Comic Con, uh, it's the bank holiday at the end of August. Um, following that is, I think it's MCM in October. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, I'll either list it on the screen or it, you can check it out on my website. I've got um, all the dates on there. So yeah, going back to the necklaces, I thought I would make a whole load of these. I'll show you the mess I've been making. So this is my setup. I've got my lovely bench drill press here. And this is the mess. <laughs> this is my uh, vice and my lovely professional setup. These here are mistakes. So here's how not to do it. I got the drill bit stuck in this one and I believe this one's burnt on the inside. Um, this one I think is actually okay. So I'll put that aside. <laughs> this one's got a drill bit stuck in it. This one has got a drill bit stuck in it. <laughs> this one is drilled crooked and this one is just mangled it is also drilled a bit crooked as well so it's not actually very simple it might look simple but I've had a lot of trouble but I think I finally figured it out and this is what I've done so far so all of these are all ready to go and I've got the different sizes ones here these are just d20s and these are this the um, the full set So, I'm going to make some for you now and uh, show you the whole process from start to finish <laughs> and hopefully nothing will go wrong. First things first. Alrighty, all done, and thankfully that went perfectly. Okay, so I'll show you what I've got. Okay, 
Okay, so here are my bins of all sorts of bits and pieces. I've got loads of dice in here. I've got some components and stuff in here. Um, bales and pins, so I'm going to need one of those. I've got necklaces and chains in this one. And I'm going to need these two. So this is the finished piece and I really kind of like it and I kind of want to keep it <laughs> which is a big problem when you make your own jewelry because you kind of want to keep it all which is kind of what happened with this one I didn't intend to keep it but you know it just happened <laughs> um, I'm gonna be doing a lot more of these um, not all of them are gonna be this detailed and girly looking I'll probably do some very plain ones um, for the blokes because I can't imagine a bloke wearing this one <laughs> unless of course you want to which is fine um, so I'm probably going to be selling these in my Etsy shop and um, the link will be in the description below but I will also definitely be selling them at um, comic-con this year and next year and maybe the year after we'll see how it goes anyway oh look he's come up to say hello this is soda rhymes with Yoda um, she's my ragdoll cat and she's been terrorizing me while I've been making these all day. So come and say hello. No? Nothing to say? I don't think she likes being held very much. Hey. What do you think? <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks very much for watching. Give me a thumbs up and a subscribe if you're not already. And um, look out for some of the other things I've mentioned. There is so much more to come. I'm going to be doing some watercolour art shortly. I'm going to be doing um, loads more t-shirt designs. I've got so many ideas. Honestly, they're coming out my ears. Um, not literally, but anyway. Um, so yeah, do stay tuned because I've got lots more coming and I will hopefully, hopefully see you again soon in my next video. So thanks for watching. Bye. So this is the finished piece. Mm. Um, I can't talk today.